All right, we're gonna show you how to pair an Opticon 2006 Bluetooth scanner with an Android device, specifically a Pixel 2. So here is the barcode scanner. It looks remarkably similar to the Opticon 2002, and the steps for pairing it are almost identical. Again, it's about the size of a nine volt battery. There are two buttons on it. One is the main scanner button, which is the large button. The other one is the function button, which will turn it off and on and also reset it. So the very first time you pair it with your device, it's always a good idea to reset it. The way to do this on an Opticon 2006 is to press and hold the function button for about 15 to 20 seconds. It's gonna turn the scanner on, it's gonna be trying to pair, and if you continue to hold the button, it will actually reset it. So it was a silent beep or kind of a quiet beep there, but that means it's reset, and off we go. So step one is reset the device. Step two is we're gonna set this to keyboard mode, and we're simply gonna scan this code. We're gonna make it Bluetooth discoverable, which the way to do that again is to press and hold the function button for about five seconds until it, it beeps and starts flashing blue. Now it sets a pair and all we have to do is come into our device, go to Bluetooth, more settings, and we're gonna say pair new device. It should pop up, which it did, so OPN 2006, simply tap on that and we're paired. So with the Opticon 2002, a lot of times you have to enter the code. If for whatever reason, a code does pop up when you're trying to pair the 06, you do have the options here to enter that. You'll simply scan whatever code it tells you, scan end, and you're all set. But in general, it's a little bit easier pairing process than the 2002. So now we're paired. Again, uh, because it's a Google phone, we're gonna wanna try and turn off any of the external keyboards. So the way to do that is we're gonna turn the scanner off. We're actually gonna actually leave the scanner on, go back to Bluetooth, we're gonna disconnect it, and then we're gonna then we're gonna reconnect it. So you'll hear it beep when it disconnects, and then it should beep back on. Theoretically. Okay, we're connected. It pops up with configure physical keyboard. So again, on a Google, there's an option here that show virtual keyboard. I've already turned it off. You wanna leave that off. And the reason is when you go into Google or any other place or any app, it's not gonna bring your keyboard up. So it's gonna simply let you enter with the uh, scanner itself. So now if you scan a book, it'll simply enter it and go. Again, you did hear the beep. You can set it to either beep after every successful scan by scanning beep on, or I like to do a beep off so it's not as annoying. You can scan a little bit more discreetly. So that's how to pair the scanner, and then you can simply go into any scanning app and you should be off and running. So from here, we can simply scan books and it'll bring up the results almost instantaneously, and that's the power of using a Bluetooth scanner. To disconnect the scanner, you're gonna press and hold that small button again. We're disconnected, it won't do anything, the battery won't be uh, running or anything like that, and you're off and running.